Here we are in the dark abyss of the dive watch part of the Longines Museum. And it reminds you immediately that there is a long canon of dive watches that started right at the beginning in 1959. There is no super compressor case. There is no burgundy bezel on this beauty. This is the new Hydra Conquest. We're gonna explore the new range now. When the Hydra Conquest was first launched in 2007, we see the variations of this watch continuing to surprise and delight as we look at more luxe two-tone variations to the theme. Let's talk about the new 2021 Hydra Conquest collection. Now, if you're looking for the too long, don't read, I'll give it to you. These are a two-tone smoke show. We have, and I, I overuse that with Longines, but they're throwing it up. And I'm looking particularly to begin with at the two-tone Sunray grey dial with rose gold PVD. We have those big Arabics at 12, 9 and 6. Some people like the big numerals, others don't. I think it's just become the design language. I accept it. And there's also a date window there at 3, not at 4.5, so don't be hating. And again, we have this two-tone motif continuing to the bezel edge, which is nicely serrated, practical for the diver, and also to the crown, which we can see snugly placed between two crown guards, continuing to the center links of the bracelet. So this two-tone theme is well and truly out there. In addition to the numerals, we have 10 what Longines call cabochons, little circles with gilt edging to indicate the five minute indexes. Now it is 300 meters of water resistance. It is every bit ready for those deeper depths. And that is partly because of the screw down crown and screw down case back. In terms of the movement, we have the mechanical self winding caliber L88.5, which is based on the ETA A31.L11, a popular base model for many Longines models. It has 25,200 vibrations per hour and it gives you 72 hours of power reserve which again makes it so popular for that weekly daily wear that you put down on the friday is pretty much good to go on the monday there are many variations on the dial in this collection we have a matte green which was extremely popular in 2020 we have a sunray gray which is what we're looking at and also a sunray black and a sunray blue now, Superluminova, of course, applied to the diamond shape on the hour hand and also the minute hand and the loom plots and Arabic numerals. When it comes to the crystal, we have a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on both sides, giving you great visibility in all lighting conditions. Bracelets and straps, we have two-tone yellow or rose PVD with a stainless steel. Uh, bracelet and we have a double security folding clasp and an integrated diving extension which is actually useful for hot days as well when your wrist swells you want a little couple of extra millimeters of of looseness on the wrist and the deployant has this awesome push piece opening mechanism which works very well like a charm a second option for the strap and very appropriate considering this is a dive watch is green blue gray or black rubber straps which are integrated they look really good they're nicely snug up to the case uh, giving you that integrated rubber strap look that is very popular in high-end models as well and probably I would say my preferred option here just because it tones down the two-tone factor which you can dress up with the bracelet if you want and it also just gives you that summery dive ready look as well as this new luxy two-tone feel which is a, a very of the moment feel so I forgot to mention one thing there's always one detail those ceramic bezel inserts that come in a range of colors depending on your variation so again can't be faulted on any component really this is a super reliable and super well priced watch now with all these luxy touches that give you extra zing off the wrist thanks for listening my name's andrew this is time and tide leave your comment below tell me which of these variations is your favorite and maybe just tell me what you're wearing today why not thanks for that speak soon